Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing video. Today we have a bit of a news update that affects some of the past Animal Crossing video games and applications. And I know your time is precious, so let's jump straight into it. Now you may have heard the eShop is shutting down. Nintendo are discontinuing the digital service on the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U systems in the near future. We've covered these details before, but in short, eventually we'll no longer be able to purchase any digital games or download any DLC and this of course affects the Animal Crossing franchise in a fairly big way which we'll get into shortly. Now we've known this was happening for a while, Nintendo announced this a few months back but just yesterday Nintendo released some more details about the timeline of the closure. Nintendo confirmed we'll no longer be able to make purchases from March 27th 2023 so in about eight months time. So you might be thinking that gives us a little while to get things sorted but they also also highlight it will no longer be possible to add funds to your Nintendo account from August 29th this year so in reality we have around a month to add money to our eShop accounts and make these purchases. Of course you can add money and make these purchases all the way up to March next year but if you're adding money you're probably going to want to purchase things straight away so you don't risk forgetting that you added money to your balance. Now when Nintendo originally announced this they also revealed they've discontinued credit card payments so to add funds to your eShop wallet between now and August 29th you can only use eShop gift cards. These are fairly easy to get a hold of though you can buy physical cards from retailers or digital codes from many online stores. Anyway this is a fairly big issue across the entire platform and for all fans of the 3DS and Wii U consoles but it does have a huge impact for Animal Crossing fans and previous installments of the games. In fact six Animal Crossing games including two DSi applications will disappear into the void never to be downloaded again. These include two 3DS games which are of course Animal Crossing New Leaf with the Welcome Amiibo update included and Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer which is the predecessor of Happy Home Paradise. There are also two DSi applications which will no longer be available including the Animal Crossing Clock and the Animal Crossing Calculator apps. These are only apps but still adorable pieces of software and definitely considered part of the Animal Crossing digital world. And of course we'll also lose some Animal Crossing games on the Wii U eShop including Animal Crossing Wild World I believe the DS version on the Wii U Virtual Console and I don't know for sure because I don't have a Wii U but presumably Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival 2 if you like the party game aspect of Animal Crossing. Of course with the eShop shutting down it does mean we'll no longer be able to purchase and download these after March next year or more importantly add money to our accounts to buy these before the end of August in a month time so it's pretty crazy we're essentially saying goodbye to a big chunk of the Animal Crossing library but there is some good news assuming you already own them or buy them before the eShop shuts down. Despite Nintendo shutting the eShop down in March 2023 they have confirmed it will still be possible to re-download games and DLC including the Welcome Amiibo update and even receive software updates for the foreseeable future but this does mean you have to already own them or purchase them them by March. This extends to online multiplayer too which means the servers for the likes of the New Leaf multiplayer will continue for a while even when the eShop is closed but probably if I had to guess only for another year or so. Now on the bright side this only affects digital games with the exception of the clock and calculator the Animal Crossing games can all be found as physical copies and we can continue to use these pretty much forever but it's important to remember eventually we will lose access to the Welcome Amiibo update for example for the original versions of New Leaf so ideally if you ever plan on playing any of these games or updating an original version of New Leaf or grabbing a copy of Happy Home Designer you want to be adding funds to your account and downloading them in the next few weeks. It's a pretty crazy time personally I'm hoping this means the eShop on Switch will see a massive update but it's unlikely to see any of the 3DS titles so it's something to consider if you still have a 3DS or Wii. You. As always, thank you so much to all the patrons and channel members for supporting this content, and I'll see you in the next one.